Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another bullet journal set up and it's the month of July and I started this month with a cover page as well. I'm really into this fake calligraphy font right now. It's super easy to make and it looks really pretty. I opted for a little flower theme. It's super easy. I did it with watercolors and some ink and my Tumbo Dual brush pen. In case if you're wondering about any products or any pens I use, I will link all of them in the info box below. Then I opted for a super minimalistic July overview. It's almost the same as last month and I will show you the finished monthly overview of June later on in this video. The next spread is my gratitude log and my align a day. Those are super super simple and minimalistic. The only thing I do to spice them up is a little drawing on the side. I also stick with the flower theme here and I colored everything in with watercolors and then I used my regular black pen. And yeah, the next one is a little bit different than usual. I opted for a circular habit tracker last month and this time I decided to only track my exercise and my sleep. So I opted for a completely different layout this time and I really like it and I just drew some columns for all the different weeks and then I also filled in all the sports that I want to do and I want to track separately like yoga, strength training and swimming and the sleep log looks really really neat. I really like it. Um, I will show you a little bit more about it and more details when I have finished all my spreads. The weekly spread is completely new and amped up and I will link a source that was great for inspiration down below as well. And then I started with my first daily page of the month and I will do a little time tracker on the side and I will color in some things that I'm gonna do. I have a color for sleep and I have a color for work things and I have a color for free time. And I think that's maybe a little bit more handy than filling out my productivity log because I skipped this one for this month because I always tend to yeah not fill it out anymore at some point at the middle of the month. So that's the finished cover page. I really, really love it. And the July overview is super basic, but I really love this because then it's easy to handle, easy to fill out. I have two different colors for free time and work things. Gratitude and Align a Day page looks quite basic at this point, but I will show you the filled out version for June later on in this video. And I really love the drawings and that and they are super easy to do. I think everyone could draw something like that. So the exercise tracker looks a little bit more filled out now. I just added some dots for the sports and workouts that I already done this month. And notes is just a random section for stuff. And those little icons um, are for like stressy days, for days when I've eaten really late or when I exercised because this sometimes influences my sleep a lot. So this is my finished weekly spread. I really like it. It looks very very neat and I just filled out all my goals and tasks and I like this little flower thingy that divides those two columns. And here you can see the three colors that I used for the time tracker on the side. Just three random tumbo colors and I will link them in the info bar down below. And the brain dump is just for some, yeah, inspiration or stuff for videos. But I think I need to try to squeeze in two days in one page. So let's have a little flip through through my June setup. You can see my overview is always super basic, but it works for me. Gratitude log and align a day. It looks super nice when it's filled out. I just missed a couple of days. I will skip the productivity log and the circular habit tracker was super nice and nice for Instagram. But yeah, not really handy, I think. Then the weekly spread was super nice. I like those watercolors a lot, but I didn't really use it that much. Then those dailies worked out for me when I needed to track all my food intake and this weekly spread was a little bit more minimalistic. And then I just opted for something completely different. I really love this one. I love the font and I think I need to use this more often. And it would really suit uh, this layout as well. Yeah. 
that was it. That was my whole bullet journal setup. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, T and Twix, and my other Instagram channel is T and Create. You can tag me in any pictures of your bullet journals that you're gonna upload because I really, really love that. And yeah, see you guys very, very soon. Hopefully with another bullet journal video. Goodbye.